The first step in managing culture is to recognize that there are meaningful differences. National culture is the set of shared values and belief that affects the perceptions, decisions, and behavior of people from a particular country. Garrett Hofstede spent 20 years studying cultural differences in 53 different countries. His research shows that there are six constant cultural dimensions across countries, power distance, individualism, masculinity, uncertainty avoidance, short-term versus long-term orientation, and indulgence versus restraint. Power distance is the extent to which people in a country accept that power is distributed unequally in society and organizations. In countries where power distance is weak, such as Denmark and Sweden, employees don't like their organization or their boss to have power over them or tell them what to do. They want to have a say in decisions that affect them. Individualism is the degree to which societies believe that individuals should be self-sufficient. In individualistic societies, employees put loyalty to themselves first and loyalty to their company and work group second. Masculinity and femininity capture the difference between highly assertive and highly maturing cultures. Masculine cultures emphasize assertiveness, competition, material success, and achievement whereas feminine cultures emphasize the importance of relationships, modesty, caring for the weak, and quality of life. The cultural difference of uncertainty avoidance is the degree to which people in a country are uncomfortable with unstructured, ambiguous, unpredictable situations. In countries with strong uncertainty avoidance, such as Greece and Portugal, people tend to be less aggressive and emotional and seek security rather than uncertainty. The cultural dimension of short-term, long-term orientation addresses whether cultures are oriented to the present and seek immediate gratification or to the future and defer gratification. Not surprisingly, countries with short-term orientations are consumer-driven, whereas countries with long-term orientations are savings-driven. Cultural differences affect perceptions, understanding, and behavior. Recognizing cultural differences is critical to successful global business. Nevertheless, as Hofsted pointed out, descriptions of cultural differences are based on averages, the average level of uncertainty avoidance in Portugal, the average level of power distance in Argentina, and so forth. Accordingly, says Hofsted, if you're going to spend time with a Japanese colleague, you shouldn't assume that overall cultural statements about Japanese society automatically apply to this person. Similarly, cultural beliefs may differ significantly from one part of a country to another. After becoming more aware of cultural differences, the second step is deciding how to adapt your company to those differences. Unfortunately, studies investigating the effects of cultural differences on management practices point more to difficulties than they do easy solutions. Another difficulty is that cultural values are changing, albeit slowly, in many parts of the world. 